In this video, we're talking about the three keys to start an online business that actually makes money. It's only water, it's either sick or swim. Can't hold back your light and expect to win. Gotta go hard. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Nathan with Freedom Influencer and here on this channel, I talk all about how to create a business in life that gives you freedom. So be sure to subscribe for daily videos that help you guys. Now, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about three keys to start an online business that actually makes money. Now, it doesn't matter what your business is, if, if it's product-based, service-based, it doesn't matter. What I'm gonna share with you are the three things that you should be focusing on to grow a successful business online. So let's get into it. The first thing that you need to be doing to start and build a successful business is create content. Now, why is this the, the number one, the first thing that you should do? Why is this step one? Why should you be creating content? And the reason behind this, there is actually more than one reason why you should be doing this. But one of those reasons is because it, like I said, no matter what you're doing, no matter what you're selling, it doesn't matter. You need traffic, all right? So you have to have traffic in order to grow an online business, all right? And one way that you can do that, actually the only way to do that, is to create content. Now, I know some people may say, well, you don't only have to create content. You can do things like run advertisements. But even if you're running ads to sell a product, to promote a service, it doesn't matter, you're still creating content, all right? So this is number one, you need to be creating content for your business, for your product. Now, the second thing that this can do, if you're creating content like here on YouTube, uh, if you're creating posts on Facebook, Instagram, social media, whatever, uh, even blog posts, the other thing that this does is it builds trust with your audience and out in the marketplace especially if you're providing content that gives value, all right? And that's what I recommend is you deliver valuable content. Now, what does that mean? It means you create content that's gonna help people, all right? If you can help people in a certain way, then they are gonna feel compelled to take the next step with you, which I'm gonna go over here in just a minute. But what I wanna tell you is that I just created a video that will help you guys in what kind of products that you should be promoting, what kind of business model that you should be doing to really create massive success. And I'll link that up in the card at the top right and you can click over and go check that video out too. But let's get into number two. So the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna create content. This is gonna drive traffic, drive traffic. We have to get massive amounts of traffic to our, our offer, our business, our product, whatever it is, okay? You have to drive traffic. You can do that through free methods, absolutely free by creating content on a blog, on social media, or you can create content with paid marketing, okay? Now, the second thing that we wanna do is we want to generate leads, all right? And you must, you must, you must be generating leads for your business, okay? It's not, it's not even an option. And why, why do you need to be generating leads? The whole purpose, the entire purpose of generating a lead is to capture somebody's email. And then what happens is you gain an email subscriber where you can deliver more content to these individuals, your subscribers. You can provide more value, which then it builds that relationship with your subscriber base. And then ultimately it allows you to market to them. You can market whatever products, whatever services. And the best thing about growing an email list, you guys, is that you have this for life until they decide to unsubscribe, which by the way, after generating thousands of leads online, I'm here to tell you that don't worry when people start unsubscribing. It's all a numbers game, that's great. As long as you're generating more leads than people are unsubscribing, you're good and you're doing something right. But the whole purpose of this is so ultimately you can make more sales, all right? Establish trust with your audience 
and then follow up with your audience promoting offers to them so you can make more money. All right, you do this through an autoresponder. You can, you can pick up, uh, and this is how you'll be sending emails out. You can do this through uh, Aweber, GetResponse. I personally use GetResponse. But if, if you're serious about growing an online business, there's two tools, there's two tools that you have to have. It's not even an option. And that is a lead capture page service where you can actually generate the lead and then an autoresponder service. This is an email marketing software. It's web-based, so you don't download this onto your computer, but this allows you to follow up with your leads, okay? Those are two softwares that you have to have. You have to be, you have to generate leads, you have to follow up with your leads. Now, the cool thing about this is you don't actually have to build a website to do this. I do recommend having a website, but you can create a massively successful business without even having a website, just running traffic to a lead capture page and using an email marketing tool to follow up and make sales, all right? So here, I wanna give you guys a great example of this, all right? And one cool thing that I just tested out on, with my own subscriber base is that I believe that in the near future, I'm gonna be creating a course, all right? And basically, over the last couple of years in my marketing and entrepreneur journey, I've learned a lot. And you know, I've invested thousands of dollars in different courses and learning different things. And I've implemented, and, and be, at this point, been able to get results that most people don't, all right? And I believe it's because I'm taking action on certain things so I now believe that I have enough value that I can create a course that's gonna help people. And I wanted to know, well, what should I create a course on? So what do I have at my fingertips? I have an email list of thousands of subscribers and I just hit send to an email where I sent it to thousands of subscribers and I just asked them, I asked them, what do they have struggles with? How can I help them grow a business? And so I sent that email yesterday and the response has been higher than any other email I have ever sent. So that's just a small example of a, a different way that you can use an email list, not only to promote products and deliver your content to, but you can pull, you can survey your email list to find out what the market wants, all right? So step one, create content. Step two, generate leads. And that brings us to step three, which is convert sales, all right? Now, here's what I wanna tell you about this, you guys, is that when you're building your online business, right? There's so many different things and ways that you can do this, but I'm telling you right now, you have all these steps right here, one, two, three. These are the key components, the three key components to growing any online business, all right? This is it right here, okay? Now, the thing about converting sales in this whole process, right? You create the content, uh, you generate the leads, and then from the leads, you can convert the sales. A lot of the time, what's gonna happen is that people are not going to do this. They're not gonna buy right? And that's just the nature of the beast because most of the time, if it's, you know, a service based or something like that, and if you haven't built rapport with your audience yet, a lot of times they may not buy from you. And, you know, it's said that someone has to be exposed to something several times before they actually click the button and decide to buy, right? Well, that's why it was so important back here to generate the lead in step two and now guess what? Well, they don't buy the second time. I provide, you provide more value. And then guess what? Now you say, okay, well, I'm gonna promote my product to my list again. And then that same list comes over here. And that's how you turn leads into conversions into sales, all right? So you guys, I hope you understand this. This is how you build an online business. I don't care what it is, it doesn't matter. Now there's some, there are very few exceptions to this. And even with the exceptions, it's still recommended, you know, find a way to generate leads. And I'll give you an example of this real quick before I wrap this up. 
But I just want to show you an example of an exception because some of you may want to go down this road. And that is maybe you've heard of something like Shopify or Amazon FBA, which is fulfillment by Amazon. So let's just say uh, Amazon F FBA, all right? Amazon FBA, one of, the, one of the very few downfalls that I've seen and observed about Amazon FBA is that when you, let's just say that, you know, you have people who will come and purchase your product and you make money, right? That's awesome. Now you're leveraging Amazon's platform, which allows you to drive more traffic to your products on Amazon. But here's one of the biggest complaints that people have about this is that you're not creating an email list. So you're not actually keeping your customers. Those customers belong to Amazon. And so I want you to think about your experience buying on Amazon, all right? Maybe you do have uh, a few of your favorite sellers that you like to buy from, but at, in the end, they have no leverage on contacting you, telling you when they have new sales or launching new products. And so that's the downfall about Amazon FBA, but how does this mean that the, the, the three step uh, the, the three keys that I showed you doesn't apply to this. Well, basically, this method here is simply driving traffic right here to your offer. And that's it. So it's only two steps. You drive the traffic from Amazon to your product. But you guys, other than that, that's the only exception I can think of. If you know of something that I'm missing, all right, or you have any comments, you guys, I'd love to hear from you guys down in the comments below. If you liked this video, definitely hit that thumbs up. And if this is your first time here on Freedom Influencer, definitely hit that red subscribe button to get more videos from me. This is Nathan Lucas, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye for now. It's only water, it's either sick or swim. Can't hold back your light and expect to win. Gotta go harder.